Hi, I am Michael from Jamaica, and in my head, I have the stock recommendation for your financial independence, man. Today's video is about Loop Industries with their patented technology. The company recycles plastics waste that cannot be recycled in the conventional way. The result is high quality materials, including food grade packaging. The aim is to create a fully recyclable plastic ecosystem. The company is thus making the dream of a sustainable circular economy a little more real every day. The partnership with SK Global Chemical, which has just been concluded, can turn the niche company Loop Industries into a serious global player with enormous growth potential in the next few years. We'll talk about these growth opportunities today. Afterwards, we'll check the chart for technical entry signals. And furthermore, I have been the name of the winner of last week's Bitcoin draw above the comments on this video. Listen, oh man, if this topic interests you, then stay tuned. After the risk disclaimer, we continue. Loop Industries is headquartered in Quebec, Canada. The company has been tradable on the stock exchange since 2015. You can read the corresponding trading symbols right above me. In October 2020, the short seller, Hiddenberg Research, claimed that Loop was a fraudulent company. This factually unproven claim caused the Loop share price to plummet from 13.90 to 5.70 within one month. This kind of legal market manipulation undoubtedly brought the short seller the expected profit. Loop Industries was left with the thankless task of clearing up these accusations. Unfortunately, the management communication with the public in the first weeks afterwards was not very constructive and rather unfortunate. But in December, the company published its first independent study prepared by Chemitech, a non-profit organization. Loop's patented technology breaks down the PET plastic waste and polyester fibers into their primary building blocks called monomers. Chemitech followed the production process on site and confirmed the purity of the end products after various tests. Chemitech thus refuted the accusation of a technology fake. Nevertheless, <laughs> the proportion of shares charged sold remained high at 14.5% into June. Only the recent concluded deal with the South Korean company SK Global Chemical, a subsidiary of the SK3 Group, seems to have finally dispelled the last doubts about Loop's technical know-how. As uh, has only now been become known, SK Global Chemical had recently begun a detailed review of Loop's technology and its results a year ago with the deal now closed, it can definitely be assumed that the accusations made, made by Hiddenberg Research were only a means to guarantee the short seller a quick hit. But um, let's get back to the giant venture between Loop and SK Global. The South Korean company takes over 10% of Loop shares. In return, Loop will receive 49% of the shares in an Asian giant venture as well as annual license fees. The plan is to build at least four joint plans in various Asian countries by 2030. The first plan to be built in South Korea and will be operational in the first half of 2022. Within a few years, the niche player for special recycling becomes a globally active company in one of the largest growth markets of the future. It doesn't take much vision to realize that a little patience can be a rich fruit. <laughs> Since it is always important for potential investors to know how many of a company's shares are held by insiders, we have checked this for you. <laughs> On the one hand, a high proportion of insiders show that the management has confidence in the financial future of the company. On the other hand, a large insider share increases the likelihood that the interest of the shareholder Will be, will be strongly represented. At Loop, 
senior employees hold about half of all available shares. CEO Daniel Solomita is the largest shareholder with over 45%. This creates trust. Nobody puts their own money into a company that they, that they know as insiders is no good. <laughs> In addition, the company announced on the 22nd of May that it had acquired a 19 million square foot facility in Quebec. The facility named Infinity will be 100% owned by Loop. The facility will be paid for with the money from the deal with SK Global. The initial um, turnaround will be over $100 million. This new production facility will support the company's expansion plans in Canada. Even without the qualities of an Oracle, it is easy to calculate that the company's growth will increase significantly over the next 18 months. So let us now take a look at the charge. The monthly charge shows a range that has resisted since 2017. The upper part of this range is limited by a resistance between $18 and $19. The lower part of the range ends in a support zone between uh, 6.30 and uh, $5.70. The weekly chart confirms the impression gained from the monthly chart. The price is moving joyously within a predefined framework. Due to the favorable company news in the weeks from 21st of June to 25th of June, the price rose briefly into the upper range, but only to pull back from there as quickly as possible. So it's business as usual. <laughs> in the daily chart, the market is finally showing a little more excitement. Instead of this simple upward movement in the monthly chart, we now see an intact upward trend. This trend is currently correcting the correction could end in the area of 61.8 um, FIBO retracements and push the trend upward again with a bullish movement. The target would then be a new point two, a uh, new high. <laughs> so how do we proceed? Uh, what is our strategy? To be honest, we would prefer the market to correct to near point three, ideally even lower into the lower range. Why? Because the company is excellently positioned for the future and with the deal that has now been concluded, it has practically put the icing on the cake. Even if it still seems at the moment as if the shear doesn't know in which direction <laughs> it should move, that will change. The cheaper we can buy the shear now, the better. In this case, we would work with two partial positions. The second partial position is due as soon as the price has closed above the existing range on a daily basis. However, if the market rallies directly from the current level, we will buy into the emerging upward movement with our first partial position. We will supplement this with a second partial position as soon as the daily closing price has formed a new high. And the next buy is in the often when the intact trend corrects again. In this case, we will also work with a total of three partial positions. If you want to sweeten your purchase with an option premium, you can see two possible candidates right above me. We recommend trading these as cash secured put option. Well, so much for loop industries, list of man. If this video has brought you any intellectual added value, please leave a comment. We're also happy to answer any criticisms or suggestions. Subscribe to our channel, man, and have fun and good luck with your investment. Yeah, man.